let's start with the uh, managerial prerogatives. What are managerial prerogatives? These are inherent rights of all employers to determine, according to their business judgment, all aspects of employment, such as hiring, work assignment, working methods, tools to be used, processes to be followed, supervision, transfer, layoff, discipline, and dismissal of employees. Who can exercise managerial prerogatives? The exercise of managerial prerogatives belongs solely and exclusively to the employer. The Labor Code does not authorize the Labor, uh, the National Labor Relations Commission, I mean, or the Office of the Labor Arbiters to interfere with or substitute their judgment for that of the employer in the conduct of his business. The wisdom of the employer's decision is not subject to the discretionary review by the labor courts. But even though the National Labor Relations Commission and the Office of the Labor Arbiter cannot exercise managerial prerogatives, it is within their power to inquire on whether the exercise of managerial prerogatives was tainted with bad faith or grave abuse of discretion. When it is established that there is bad faith or grave abuse of discretion, the National Labor Relations Commission and the Office of the Labor Arbiter can use their corrective powers. Thus, they can reduce excessive penalties meted out to erring employees, but they cannot absolve employees for their misdeeds. The following are the prerogatives of management. Number one, choose whom to hire. Number two, promote employees. Number three, transfer employees. Number four, change work schedules. Number five, reorganize and abolish positions. Number six, abolish a department. Number seven, reduce personnel. Number eight, transfer business ownership. Number nine, spin off a portion of its business. Number 10, close down its business. Number 11, promulgate company policies, rules, and regulation. And number 12, dismiss employees.